Samuel himself. Bass. Oh, shit. Have you lost your mind? I had one to begin with. Uh, that's true. That's true. Don't do it, I talk, right? What about, man? Same shit, different day. What changes? Yeah, but it doesn't have to be that way. Listen, I know we have a past. S plus boost! Oh, shit! Send me on croc! I'll get him right! I mean, what? Wait, what were we talking about? You're right. You were saying? I wouldn't worry. I think croc's gonna be on duty real soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mesh master, thank you. God damn it. Croc. I mean, what? sorry. D Dundee. Uh, 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 nice, no. dude. Nice, man. You kind of cringe. Listen, listen, Erwin. <laughs> this shit that happens between us, we gotta find a way to coexist. We gotta find a way to make it stop, okay? I know you're paranoid. I know you've had multiple instances in the PD where you've been fucked over way too many times. And you know what? I understand that there's not much trust between the two parties, between you and the PD, right? I get that. And you'll take all the necessary precautions to make sure that a breach does not happen. I want to talk about what happened back there and, you know, maybe we can start establishing a foundation. Maybe we can build a new relationship between us to where this is not a common theme. This does not happen. This does not become a repeated pattern of constant escalation and, you know, uh, back and forth where you're getting blown up or we're getting blown up and the house is getting blown up, right? You guys won, and you're still confused. You guys know you won the hell week, right? It's not, it's not about winning or losing. No, it's no, not we, that. Uh, Dundee. Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear this. Okay, go ahead. Continue. I mean, we won. I don't believe we won, but go ahead. I want to hear your um, speech. <laughs> I've heard it from both sides, okay? Look, you guys are fucking wrecking a toll out there, and I mean it. There's this whole hell week shit that's been going on. The only real players have been you. No, sorry. The only real players have been me, Lost MC, and Chang Gang. Ain't really been any other players out there. Or at least the people orchestrating behind it ain't noticed anyone else doing it. No one else stood up to the core. Messages went out, but no one responded. Hi. Why do you, why do you think that's the case? <laughs> I don't know. You learned from the last one? Because this is the first time PD won a Hell Week. The, look, it's not... There's a group that organized it. I'm not going to tell you who they are, but yeah, we were contacted. And yeah, I guess I kind of joined in. That being said, I've given up. And so have pretty much every other crew. But why start in the first we'll place? We'll just have to wait for one. We'll just have to wait for one. What was the objective behind Hell Week? Besides unleashing Hell in the PD? What were we, what were we trying to do this time around? What was your goal? I don't know, man. You, you guys act like a gang and then you get treated like one. Like we like criminals, right? We understand. Look, as much as much as you hate it, as much as I hate it, you, you're gonna catch me one day. You're gonna put me away, but then I'm just gonna get back out. I'm gonna keep doing the thing. But at least in the meantime, people don't have to die. But unfortunately, we keep finding ourselves in a position where they do. And unfortunately, you guys gotta get one thing clear: if I shoot a cop, everyone else in the car with me, regardless if they fired a bullet or not, get an accomplice. But if you guys put someone into the ocean, no, don't take it out on me. I wasn't there when it happened. Why should I receive the punishment of what someone my peers and my co-workers did? I don't you think it's a fair analogy. I think it is. You charge me an accomplice, but you can't reflect back on your own PD the same way. If you're aiding and abetting somebody, aren't you an associate, an accomplice to that person? If you're helping somebody get away after committing a crime, you're guilty by association about that point, right? You're, you're helping that person escape from what they've done. Therefore, you become their accomplice or an accessory to what they've done. Therefore, you get prosecuted in the same kind of manner and you get the same kind of level of force. Now, if that person had nothing to do with it and then they happened to be the wrong place at the wrong time, I can agree with you. I'm not disagreeing with you on that. What I'm disagreeing is you guys don't put that on yourself. That's why Hell Week happens. It's because one person makes a mistake, but you guys act as if the whole PD isn't gonna suffer for that. You guys treat yourself as if, oh, well, no, we'll just punish that one cop. You're looked That's at- That's not true. You're That's not at true at all. Dundee. Are you, are you trying to make the 
argument that if one of us fucks up, we don't we we don't find it appropriate that the entire police department gets the brunt of it. But when one of y'all fuck up, we go after all y'all. What I'm trying to say is regardless whether you find it appropriate or not, that's what everyone in the city thinks of you. Whether you like it or not. Right. But Dundee, but there's not a fair. lot of things that people think about us. Dundee, are you saying that I should give you the same kind of treatment you give us? So if the Bundai boys do something, I should treat every single gang the same way? Do you think that's fair? I mean, that's why you know started shooting. Why did you know start shooting? Can you elaborate on that? You know started shooting cops because he was charged with attempted murder of a government employee when he didn't shoot any cops. Did he aid and abet anybody? Was he trying to help those people escape? I don't know what he was doing, but he was accomplice. Why he was accomplice? He was he was he was he was, he was, he was, he was, he was the main crew. GSI. You don't have to shoot a cop to get the, the charge, though. An accomplice and accessory exist for a reason. All you could have done maybe was trying to help him escape the shooting of a cop. But but don't you don't you see what what the uh, what the issue is here? If he's going to be charged and shot down for shooting a cop when he didn't shoot a cop, then you do realize that he got the exact same punishment as if he did shoot a cop. Why would no? He, he didn't. No, he did. Accomplice is not the same set of charges as as the the baseline charge never right. has never uh, that's why we don't apl apply the charges Those that way that's why they're accessories Ooh. and that's why it's accomplice yeah yeah that's but he still got charged it's the it's the exact same it just you because have a problem with the law then dundee you're talking to the wrong folks we enforce the law we don't make it you know i got a question with all these problems that you have hell all these problems that a lot of criminals seem to bring up. Problems with the police, police department doing things that they shouldn't be doing. Why the fuck don't you take this shit to court where it actually matters? Motherfucker, I took it to court and a judge fucking called uh, Tony Andrews and Sam Bass to put me in the fucking ocean. Why would I ever take it to court? Listen, I'm sorry about the past. I really do. I wish it never happened. I wish in, we, we never crossed that path. Me too, I man. truly apologize from the bottom of my heart. I know you won't take it, and you think I'm not being sincere, but I do actually care. And I thought to myself, one day we can rekindle this relationship. We can build it again. I truly mean that. I don't want to have this... Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Hatred. Hatred. Um... I guess hatred is a word to use. I'm not sure. It's a pretty strong word, right? Because hate leads to anger. And anger leads to violence, right? I guess tension would be a better word, Dundee? Lots of tension, mate. Look, the, the, the reason this Hell Week shit starts is 24-7 robberies. Why does no one bring four AK-47s to them and seven hostages? Why? It's not worth it. Exactly. It's not worth it. You're going to get two cops and you get the same job and the same outcome if you just bring one. Why risk such equipment? It's because the PD response is, you know, how do I, how do I word this without sounding like an idiot? Look, we, we could... Good luck. Yeah, good luck. Good luck, buddy. Exactly. <laughs> Look, people, criminals have been upping what they bring and have been more paranoid than ever because just of a few select cops that decide to do stupid shit. Let's get to the point while we're here. We're not going to talk about the other people. Let's talk about what the fuck happened in there, okay? Even Brian, you said it yourself. I went in there to go steal me a couple of guns. Just needed me a couple mm -hmm. of grapples, maybe even a little smoke grenade. You know, have a bit of party. And you know, everything's going well. We get the inside, we get the shit. Just a typical fucking job. Bring the hold in. Everything's going smooth. And all of a sudden, I come out and I see Collins talking with Martel. I'm like, okay, Colin, get us out of here. You should be able to negotiate the basics. So off he does. And now as we're in the middle of giving our demands, Martel answers a phone call and just completely starts dono-walling us. 
completely just, what's just, a, just walks what's away. It's a wall. It's it's where uh, <laughs> like when you talk to a wall, basically. We're talking oh, to a gotcha. wall. She put us behind a paywall. Like I've got to get. It's like a, it's like you know you know uh, newspaper magazines that go fully online. You got to pay two dollars fifty a month to talk to them. You got to you mm. got to do that now. You know behind a paywall. She just complete middle of negotiations. We're 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 out here, just trying to get out of here peacefully and just leave us shit, okay? And she just walks away on the phone and she just disappears for like ten minutes. And then a cop comes in and goes, "What are you guys doing?" I'm like, "We're waiting to leave." And so he goes back out and they start screaming. And then she comes back in. She goes in the most annoying voice in the world. Yeah, yeah, you can leave. You're free to go. Come on, get it over and done with. So I go, we get into our car. But I notice one thing. We're the only ones getting in our cars. There isn't a single fucking cop. That I see mounted in the car. You know what I see? I see five different cops at five different angles with their ARs not near their car. And they're pointing them at me. This is a fucking key ambush. I saw this from a mile away. I said, no, no, no. Get back inside. Get back inside. I've heard horror stories of fucking busting at the Bobcat. I, I got a fucking fall for this shit. So I get them back in. I'm not convinced for a second they want to leave. I'm, I'm just absolutely convinced, just convinced you guys are going to fucking gun me down the moment I leave. Just like when I got fucked on a flick of bank just a few days ago. I did everything you guys asked me to, but you still want to gun me down for no good fucking reason. So we go back. Do you know why I ran in, Dundee? No, I don't. I ran in because I started to understand the situation and why you were starting to freak out. I'm kind of <laughs> kicking like myself right now that I didn't run in sooner. Yeah, now here. there might be a dead man over in Pillbox. Did you hear about that yet? He dead? We don't know yet. <laughs> hey. A hostage or a cop? Hostage. Oh, no. Anyways, we went back inside. Right, sir, so basically Look, we just wanted to talk our way out of there. So then I get a different person. Another cop comes. And I don't know who he is. He fucking... I forgot what he looked like. But he walks... I think... I think there was a... There was another... There were two cops there. One was uh, in all black. Another one was fucking... It was like he had a cowboy hat on. I forgot who he was. I think he was a sheriff. I, I don't fucking know. BCSO. He walks up and he goes, What's going on here? Uh, I said, look, motherfucker, I see this from a mile away. You guys are going to fucking shoot me the second I leave. This has happened like six times to me. It's happened twice in a week. I'm not falling for this for a third time. And I told him, look, motherfucker, we just want to get out of here peacefully. No one needs to die. And I told him, if you shoot us down, if we leave, you may get us. But eventually we will get out and you will regret it. And then he interrupts me and says... What are you going to do about it? Start a hell week for a fifth time? Want to get fucked up again? And I say, are you no boring me? And he says, yeah, I'm no boring you, pussy. So. He said that? Yeah, he said that to my face. Uh, no boars, pussy. Do you know him? No, I have no idea who that is. Oh, oh, so Martel, fuck. The reason why I got even more sus is because when we went back in, Martel came in. And I'm trying to understand a conversation that happened. So Martel comes in and she she's panicking, okay? Okay, bank robbery, that isn't the same shit, different day, okay? Something's different. The hostages went back in. Ooh, it's different. Ooh, oh, the guard book doesn't say what to do here. I'm panicking now. She comes back in. And I'm telling her, look, I can see that you guys out here are preparing to shoot me. And then Martel says on the radio, guys, they went back in because they think that you're going to shoot them. Silence. She radios back again. He knows because you didn't get back in your car. I want you to think about what the fuck you would do if you heard that. He knows. I, I, Dundee. I understand. 
it was uh and like i said that's why uh i began to run in there but it's a little too late i want to try to de-escalate it be but, late, mate. Yeah, <laughs> you got a cop well, that's no bawling me, and hold, another cop saying I, I, he I, knows that we're gonna I, shoot him over the right. What did you expect me to do? Holy, oh. you know what's so funny? That was never our plan. We just, oh my god, now I understand why you fucking did what you did. Holy shit, oh my god. Do you see why I did it now? I literally thought, like, I was 10,000% convinced. I got no bores. Mm. Everyone looked like they were going to shoot me. My tail let it, made it sound so bad. It sounded so bad. It sounded like I was going to fucking get shot. It's like, yeah, he, he figured out we were going to shoot him. Now what do we do? It sounded exactly like that. I, I got fucking cops standing and aiming guns. My tail saying he was going to, he knows, he figured it out. And a cop no boresing me. Jesus fucking Christ. What did you expect? Oh, yeah, no, uh, like shit. I said, I fucking, I, listen, I was two blocks away and just hearing over the radio, I put two and two together. I mean, look, I was there for two of the breaches. If you're starting to get shaky, well, of course. I mean, you've had it happen twice. Who's to say it's not going to happen again? And if you have some dumbass trying to, you know, say shit like that to you, that's only going to make you start thinking a certain way. I just wanted to leave, bro. We're poor. You know, I was at war with CG and all that for a while. You think I got in endless money? Well, I don't. Yeah, I lost it all during that, and I've been trying to recover it ever since. I don't got time. Oh, infinite amount of money. No, I don't owe money. It's my debts are paid, but it costs me every penny. Hey. Lock the door. Dundee, I understand That's why cool. you did what you did. Okay, I can see how the. Sequence, sequence of events, or serious events, are sick, I can't talk, um, has caused you to have your back against the wall and feel like the Peter Sharp breach. But I can assure you, that wasn't our intention. I don't know what happened to where there was a massive breakdown and miscommunication to make you feel that way, but I can assure you, it can, it's been looked into, and the officer who knew balls to you has already got reprimanded, and then Martel... That's something being handled as well, right? So, what happens to the I get your frustration. Me? I'm not gonna tell you what the internal punishment is, right? All I can say is punished. What? Fucking demoted for a day? Do you got to ride along with a superior? Uh, for we a don't week? fuck with that. I, I, I will tell you right now, especially while hearing what you have to say, I am annoyed. And that's me trying to find words that would um, be appropriate for the setting. What happened back there was not okay, okay? It was purely avoidable. It could have been, you know, avoided big time. And that's what made me really upset, along with Brian. And we try and talk to you about it because we don't want it to happen again and again and again. And that's why I'm taking time to talk to you so we can un come to an understanding of middle ground as far as what we want. So it doesn't become a problem. It doesn't linger. It doesn't continue to be an issue. Does that make any sense? <sighs> I am trying to work with you. Even though you're crazy. And you think I'm crazy. But at least we can try to find a middle ground to where we can meet each other halfway. I just want to rob banks and drive cars, man. But somehow along the way, I got a little wet. And nine months later, I'm the most, I'm a fucking terrorist. I just want to steal cars. And the most, probably what, a uh, cop killer? You get the most kills? How many do you think I got? Tempted at least. 200, 300? Something like that, I remember. 350. Jesus Christ. That's a lot. That's a lot, Dundee. Dundee, well, I, um, I had a conversation with some... Um, members of um, Gulag gang this morning. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we've shot each other in the past. We've, uh, you know, been on opposite end of things. But what made that conversation good is they were able to talk about these subjects that you're talking about right now. Who's been fucking him over? Who's been doing dumb shit? They're giving names. This conversation we're having right now Despite like how far away we are from across from each other at the table, 
this needs to happen. We need to know who's doing dumb shit because otherwise we don't find out. We just not hear I'm, about I'm the cops are names. doing this or cops just, are doing. I'm not holding uh, names. Yeah. I just don't know. I, I said Montel. No, I don't know I, the other guy. Yeah, and I understand. But I'm what I'm saying is I appreciate this as a start. Um, because I'll I'll tell you right now, man. Um, I acknowledge that there are officers out there doing some stupid shit, but we we don't have our eyes everywhere, right? A certain incident the other day, like um, bunch of criminals, Tess, it's just a bunch clothes. of non-automatic Tess. pistols. One of our officers took out a class two firearm and started opening fire. Now, don't get me wrong. We are legally allowed to use those class two firearms, but it's an unnecessary escalation. And until and if I know their name, how they look like, some kind of description, when it happened, where it was, uh, myself or anyone else can't do anything about it. And then the city just burns even further. Exactly. I can assure you any officer fucking around or trying to poke the bear for no reason or escalate because they can and they're trying to flex their fucking dick on you or other people out there because they know they can get away with it. That's not going to fly. Not on my watch at least. And I've done everything I can in my powers to make sure it doesn't happen again. I know you don't believe me and everything coming out of my mouth might come off like it's bullshit, but I can assure you I've tried my best. I just don't believe it. It's just, how many times have we sat here? I just don't want people, look, I know, I know I'm, I'm But I'm it's Mr. not too fucking... late though, Dundee. It's, it's not too late though, right? It's not, it's never too late. Mate, you can keep trying, but it's, it's not that it's not too late. It's just nothing changes. It, you may, and, and I can understand that. It's a big city. We got a big department. We're dealing with massive boulders trying to push them, and, and Thank you, you know, maybe the ball's not moving as quickly as we collectively want it to. Yeah. But unless we take those steps, then nothing's going to fucking change. It's only going to get worse. That boulder's going to start going the other direction. We're going to all get crushed by it. 100%. We're all going to suffocate together. I believe if you go out there and you say to everyone, I'll believe it if you go out there and admit that you caused this. I know I'm the one that pulled the trigger, but you escalate. Well, I don't know you, but someone did. I just wanted to leave, but I was 10,000% convinced I wasn't ready. I wasn't allowed to. Dundee, that's asking for the impossible. You go <laughs> ocean dump one of your motherfucker. One of your guys fucks up. You decide to ocean dump him. You think you're going to come to us? What do you mean? Well, I'm sure you've ocean dumped one of your I mean, ex-colleagues I mean, before. Yeah, you know all about how gangs operate, right? What happens when one acts out? I mean, what what's the difference between you and us? We're backed by the DOJ, and we just happen to not have uh, tags we can spray around. Though I'm hoping to change that last bit. I haven't ocean dumped yeah, I mean, anyone. Cuts. I, you know, but I'm not the only one in this room with experience. Oh, <laughs> don't look at me. Dundee, what do you do when somebody's acting on your gang? What do you do when somebody is a fuck up? I can't tell you that, but we're out of Skype here. Uh, off the record, I won't use it against you. Okay, yeah, 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 man. But my dog ate my homework. That's why this ain't on the record. Yeah, I'm, I'm convinced. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm telling you shit Come about on, that. Come on, I'm it's trying to scope. talk to you here. It's out of scope. It is not out of scope. You're asking me to go public with what happened and, uh, you know, fucking publicly shame the so, officer so, so, for his so mistake. You, so, you, so, you want to, so you don't want to publicly shame your officer because gangs ocean dumped them instead. Well, are you, are you acting no, like a gang? No, 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 no. I'm saying is, I'm asking you, what do you do when somebody fucks up in your gang? I'm not telling you. Why not? Exactly. That's the point. So, so you calling Peter your gang? You act like a gang? Motherfucker, you heard it come out of my mouth. We live in goddamn Los Santos. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Damn, you really are act like a gang. Guys, you tr you act like a gang, you get treated like one. You Look, think, okay, that's what place. You don't think we don't know that. That's what You don't think we don't know that. Then why are we having we're this conversation? We're a product of our own environment. Okay, we're, we, we got made this way. Not by choice. Because we have to adapt. 
Look, if you guys if you guys accept that you're a gang, then you you guys know a lot about gangs. It, it, you shouldn't be surprised that you're being treated like one. If let's replace the situation, we're not even having happen. that conversation, yeah, Dundee. We are we we are moving we are moving this conversation in a completely different direction. Green, I think you know, and we know that what happened today was unacceptable, and we are going to make sure that shit fucking the right individuals are punished. Yeah, now, I, we're not going to be able to sit here and, and convince you if you're not willing to be convinced, but keep this in mind. I fucking ran in there, six. Dundee, <laughs> across the goddamn street to try to de-escalate because I heard over the radio all the dumb shit that was taking place. I understand how you were thinking. Unfortunately, not everyone thinks. I mean, that's not just the police department. I mean, we're dealing with humans, right? There's always error times it happens right but you have to mitigate those mistakes and the errors and, and here's the thing dundee okay what happened back to, like i said was avoidable big time and the officer was reprimanded he admitted fault he learned from it and i i was even speaking to the guys and saying maybe we can invite you to one of our trainings you can help us with like negotiation and helping officers understand um how to negotiate better so we can focus on preservation of life. We can focus on making sure that, um, you know, robberies don't just shootouts. Because I don't want it to turn into shootouts and bombings and C4 and all that bullshit. Nobody does, okay? It's just not healthy for you. It's not healthy for us. We have to learn how to coexist and move on. So Petey just, you know, make mistakes. You just got to move on to it, right? Yeah? But what are we supposed to do? Linger in the past? Dwell on it the whole entire time? Public is shame that person? Which hunt that person the whole entire time to where they don't want to be a police officer? You don't believe in second chances? You don't think I changed? Oh, I know you believe in second chances, Mr. K, the detective. Exactly. I can't tell if you're trying to use that against him or trying to... I think you to proved credit my point. Him. I just remembered that you hired Mr. K. What the fuck was wrong with you? Because I believe in second chances. I, I thought the guy... Can I become a who... cop? Yeah, like I mean, according to the DOJ, you just gotta like fucking be clean for three weeks, right? I mean, if are you gonna be able pull, to do that, Dundee? If you can pull that off, it'd be a fucking miracle, all right? So clean. So you mean clean for three weeks, or don't get caught for three weeks? You gotta be clean. You can have warrants. That affects your expungement program. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, I don't see a problem in yeah. you know, You can be dirty, just don't get caught. Just like you, you got promoted. I was dirty. I've done my time for it. I fucked up and I've learned from it. And I became a better you person and helped me become the chief. What you did to me? What? Since when? I did not go to jail, Dundee. I went to hell. Hell in a cell inside my body. You got to jail for a period of time for what you did. I'll be clean for 30 days. Dundee, why are you digging up the past? I thought we buried the hatchet. Well, I'm but curious you're, you're now. Getting... I'm curious now. <laughs> curious about I what? I suffered, okay? There was guilt running through me, all right? The, guy, the kind of despair and agony and pain I went through is undescribable. I can't place words into it, Dundee. I know you might think, ha ha, he's fucking lying to me, and you probably slept well at night. No, I didn't. I slept with one eye open because I felt sick to my stomach after what happened. I... <laughs> I thought I was doing the right thing, but over time I realized that I fucked up. I was wrong, and you were right. I made a mistake, and I wish I could go back and fix it. <sighs> I truly mean it. Yeah, sure. Just I don't know. I don't think there's anything more to say. We gotta start somewhere, right? <sighs> You know, small steps, baby well, steps, whatever it may be. I just want to take one step in the right direction with you. That's all. Maybe, look, if you if you got cops that going up to people that's committed terrorism and saying no boys, you won't kill the hostage. You're, you're fuck we've up. already moved He's past like, this yeah, point, yeah, Dundee. You keep coming back to it, and I understand you don't believe us, but here's the why, thing. With you. Why should I believe you? Last week I got Why the because fuck I was should I believe you? Let me ask you. Let me let me ask you a question, Dunny. You think we're down? Me and Bass are sitting in this room just to, you know, because we don't want to be outside. You fucking heard that. You heard that S plus come out of Bass's mouth. He, yeah. 
the the fact that he's even focused on what you have to say is a fucking there's miracle. There's a meth run. There's an S plus boost going on. I mean, the city's on fire. But instead, I care about planting that seed with you because I know how much it matters as far as the future and the future interaction with the PD. Demonstrate it to me, and I'll give it a shot because like we've had we've sat here. What am I have, doing over here, Dundee? What the fuck am I doing over here, huh? You're talking, but I want to see actions. I mean, give it time is what I mean. Why and what? Who the fuck makes you the judge? Yeah. Who do, whose crimes do you respond to? Uh, what is your purpose criminals? without me? Think about it. What is your purpose oh, without the law? Sure, sure. If, they, if every single criminal tomorrow decided to quit the goddamn, you know, their criminal activity and put all the bullshit aside, yes, the police force would probably be useless. I don't disagree. However, okay, I was going back to what I said. We have to learn how to coexist. I need you and he needs me, right? It's a yin and yang. We're both tied into it. And if I we don't like to learn how to live too. together. I just need to be able to trust you. Right. And that's why I'm here to try to build that trust from scratch. Because I know it's, it's, it's broken. I know it's damaged. It's been leaking for a long time. But it's not unfixable. Have you not talked? Well, what do you want me to say? Fucking yee hee, we friends now. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is let's close the chapter of the past and open a new one. And I'll d try to do my part of not escalating as much. And I ask you to do your part to not escalate as much. And then we can try to work side by side and go from there. Now, I understand that officers tend to do f dumb things and escalate, and no balls you. and say some stupid shit to where like, you know what? I'm going to make an example of this guy. I'm going to prove a point today, right? I get that. I know you. I know who you are. What I'm trying to say to you is have some faith in me. All I'm asking is for faith so we can steer the ship in the right direction and get back on track so this does not become an issue going forward. Okay. Fine. Because Dundee, I'll be honest... And I'm not trying to say this because of, like, you know, ego. I can just tell you to fuck off, send you in jail, and just say, why should I listen to you? Why should I care? I'm ready to shoot you. I don't care how many officers go down. I'll bring more, you know? I'll recruit more, right? I could adopt that method if I wanted to, but it's just not healthy. It's vice versa. I could tell all the boys, listen, every penny, go into it. And it just, the, the, the cycle continues. But the reason why, I haven't done it. I mean, look, I came to that place not ready for anything. I know people on the outside. I, I barely came supplied in case anything did happen because I wasn't planning to. It goes both sides. Yeah, you could fuck us and fuck. If you got every criminal together to go against you, I'd be honest, PD would probably not get fucked. PD would probably actually come out victorious. If they put every little detail, every little thing that they got, I think PD could truly, truly, and I mean truly, wreak havoc on the outside world. But until then... Look, I think the both outcome is we just don't want the dumb, the innocent. Look, yeah, I know I go out and kill people, okay? But I don't... <clears throat> I don't like it when innocent people die for no reason. Wow, you have a heart. <laughs> Thanks, so do man. I. Took me a while. I'm glad. I'm glad there's at least an ounce of goodness in you, Okay. He's always losing faith. But it's never too late. We can turn this ship around and we can sail the seas together. We can weather the storm together, Dundee. This number of 350 plus attempted murder, it doesn't have to go higher. Well, stop getting, well, not that it's you directly, but when I say you, I mean, I, I mean you as in the PD. Stop giving me a reason to make it go up. Like I said, I understand why you felt the way you did today. And, however, you still decided to, you know, cause, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it's in the past. I'm not going to go back to it. It's besides mm -hmm. the point. We talked about it many times. What matters is the future and the present, right? So let's work on that. Let's rebuild instead of destroy. I'll give you an opportunity. I widen my asshole for you to fuck me one more time, okay? But if you fuck me, I'm gonna close it back up. I'm gonna super glue it shut, and then I'll be the one doing the fucking. Got it? 
don't blow this chance. Oh, tell my boys. Dundee, don't you know do damn well that you, you know damn well that's not going to happen. You know, whether it's tomorrow or a week from now, there is going to be some dumb shit that happens. So what do you want me to do when dumb shit happens? I happen want you to keep on having these conversations. Give me fucking names and or how they goddamn look like. And I know that that might take a little bit of work. And I know that you're going to have to pull through that pain, agony, whatever feelings you got. But the boulder. There's always bad apples in the tree and people fall through cracks. But together, we can clean it. We can get rid of it. And then turn it into a dry cider and drink it together. Cheers. Mass, I hate to bring it up again, but you are a perfect example of what I'm about to say, man. Because I tried doing exactly that. Oh, I know it's been banded and disbanded and rebanded and renamed and retried. What are you fun. talking about? What are you talking about? Man, you're untouchable. I'm untouchable? <laughs> I mean, internally, you're untouchable. I don't, I don't see myself that way. Dundee. Well, you don't, but I don't think you understood. Motherfucker, I played dead for three weeks and worked with IA to fuck you. And they couldn't do anything. They disbanded and gave the fuck up. How am I meant to have any trust I whatsoever? Think, I think you, you're talking you the wrong guy. Did you read my latest report? I think you were talking the wrong guy, okay? You were going for the body of the snake, not the head. That's why you misfired. I missed the fire. head. Yes. I you thought I, I was. The head. You thought you thought I was the mastermind of the plan, but mm -mm. she's following orders, Dundee. But now you're the order giver. It's changed. Right. But here's the thing. Ever since I've taken reign as chief of police, I vowed I would never ever do something like that because there's been plenty of opportunities that came my way. Plenty of times, and you know. Chances where I could have said, you know what? Yes, I can do this. And who's going to stop me? But I thought to myself, no. Because if I want to change the PD and I want to change the culture and I want to, I want to lead by example, I have to start holding myself accountable for my actions. I have to understand that if I don't bring the ethics and the integrity that we're looking for the PD from the top, it will never trickle down to the people at the bottom. Now, obviously, I can only control the LSPD, and there's things that happen in other departments, but I'm just speaking on the LSPD behalf of myself. I, I like to think that I try, you know, I try my best to you know, uh, hold myself accountable for my actions, and if I fuck up, I'll be the first person to raise my hand and say, you know what? Yes. My fault. My fault. How do you clap with his arms crossed? I truly mean it, Dundee. I truly mean it. I'll give you a chance to demonstrate it. Okay. I just need time. It's not going to happen overnight. Nothing's built overnight. So. Yeah, another one like trust. Well, trust will take some time to build, right? And that's both on both sides. Um, like Brian was talking about, just give us the name of officers who are fucking around, who are causing these troubles, who are trying to push your buttons for no reason and cause escalation on both sides. And I'll, I'll make sure that we take care of it internally so it does not linger and become a larger issue, larger issue in the so PD happening. to where you have to suffer and we have to suffer. Okay. <laughs>